I got a letter, I, I, I got a note uh, today from one of my staff, they forwarded it to me, from a, a woman in St. Louis who had been part of our campaign, very active, who had passed away from breast cancer. Um, she didn't have insurance. She couldn't afford it, so she had put off having, a, having a, the kind of exams that she needed. And uh, she had fought a, a tough battle for four years all through the campaign. She was fighting it, but finally she succumbed to it. Um, and, and she insisted she's going to be buried in, uh, in an Obama T-shirt. <laughs> no, but, but, but think about this. She, she was fighting that whole time, not just to get me elected, not even to get herself health insurance, but because she understood that there were others coming behind her who were going to find themselves in the same situation. And she didn't want somebody else going through that same thing. How, how can I say to her, you know what, we're giving up? How can I say to her family, this is too hard? How can Democrats on the Hill say this is politically too risky? How, how, can, how can Republicans on the Hill say uh, we're better off just blocking anything from happening? That can't be the message that the American people uh, are delivering. Yeah, they're, they're nervous. They're anxious. They're in a tough time right now. The thing they want most are jobs. They really don't like the process in Washington, the sausage making. I, that part I understand. But I know that they don't, but, but I know they, they don't want to just offer nothing to the millions of people in America who are in the situation that that woman was in. 